Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to connect our project to Firebase. So this connection will be on both sides, server side and upside. We'll have our app configured to use Firebase and we'll also have our database accepting data coming from our application. So to kickstart let's just open our project in which we are going to implement firebase so quickly open your project once you're in your project click on menu go to library firebase and we we'll need these details here we we'll need the project id the app id the api key the storage bucket url so to configure these you just click on the settings there then we we'll have to get these from our firebase console so we'll create a project on firebase and we'll get these details so let's go to firebase open your browser your browser go to firebase console console.firebase.com or just google firebase then once you're in your console you want to choose if you've got multiple emails choose the one with the project that you want to configure if you don't have a project like i don't have we are going to create a new project so choose the account that you want to create a project in then select add project then give it a name So after giving your project a name, hit continue. Here we leave analytics on, then select your account and create project. So this will create our basic project and all we will have to do is configure this project to our app project. So once the project is ready, hit continue. So once we are here, you can add a number of projects as you can see on top here. But what we are interested in is adding an Android project. So before we add that project, let's quickly enable authentication. We're enabling authentication so that we can have an API key at the end of the configuration get started here just enable email login save then you can also enable anonymous and save so once we are done enabling authentication we can go back to project overview then here we need to add our app so you need to get the package name of your app and put it here so to find package name just go to your project and exit it so let's quickly go back you we'll continue here exit so on your project just open that menu go to setting advanced setting then here package name this is where you configure your package name so your package name that you configure here should be the one that we you copy or master and it is needed here in firebase so you add your package there then give your app a nickname The Shawan key is necessary if you're going to use dynamic links and uh, Google login, phone login, and other services. But if you're going to go with email login, there is no need for Shawan. It's not a must. So you can just register up. If you find the need to use the other methods that require Shawan key, you can always come back to your Firebase console and add the Shawan key. So register up.
then here you can just hit next unless you are using android studio you can download your google services json there next then here we can also just hit next then continue to console so once you're done with those steps your app has been configured to our firebase all we need to do is get the details so to get the details click on the app go to settings then here you will find the details that we need so the first one is project id copy it go back to your project firebase settings then we start configuring so paste your project id there then the next one is app id get your app id app id is right here so copy the app id go back and paste it here then you also need the api key the api key we can find it right here web api key so copy that and paste it here then we hit next here we need the storage bucket url to get the storage bucket url we need to enable storage in our firebase project we go back to our firebase console menu then we go to storage once you're in storage just get started then hit next and you have to choose the location of your storage bucket so there are a number of regions there just choose the one you want then hit done so now you can get the storage bucket url the url is right here and google makes it easy for you to copy it just hit there and it copies it then go back to your project and paste it here then we have to remove this from here gs all the way back there and just leave that so once you leave it the way it was your storage bucket will not work then simply click next and save your settings so we are done with configuring our firebase in our app project and it's ready to use firebase but we need to do a few more things in our firebase console so go back to firebase let's enable real-time database the real-time database will store our text content so create database choose a database location you also have some options there then hit next unless you know what you're doing or you're going to use an authentication method you can start in locked mode otherwise if you're testing or a beginner start in test mode test mode allows all read and write to take place so enable that our real-time database has been created this is your url to your database there's default rtdb so we need this rtdb default rtdb to configure so we need this default rtdb to configure our firebase in this new firebase setup so let's actually go back to our sketchware project and add this last step so that our database works go back to where we were firebase then project id we need to add default rt db default rt db so default real time database save and it should look something like this you are ready to use your firebase all the setup has been done so all you have to do now is just configure the logic of sending content and receiving it from your database